Hey guys, so welcome back to the quarry. Let's carry on where we left welcome off. I bungled an easy Did puzzle. You miss me? As we get captured by the hackers. At least with Laura and Ryan. Me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? Jacob's in prison too. Potentially Nick. We don't know the identity of that werewolf in the basement. The Empress. Look at her. <laughs> Those at the top can fall the hardest. Such We've got the Empress and the Emperor. To nurture little monsters, only to live long enough to watch them kill you. And the lovers, too. <laughs> but it's no less than she deserves. I feel like that's probably going to give us little information the compared lovers. to what we can get from this one. There's harmony and disagreement brought to light only by sparks of passion. Blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it. And tasting it could save someone's life. Well, that sounds important. I feel like I should uh, watch that one in particular. The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Gosh, Though we got the four spins, cards here. The eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. Okay, she's getting more and more agitated. <laughs> she's like, why did you collect so many the cards Emperor. in one go? Authority, paternity, strictures designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. I have a feeling that she is... A little biased Detail. when it comes to describing the Hackett's. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Seymour, please. She was then quite choose abrupt the there. possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. Will do. Uh, alright. We're going for the lovers. Saving someone's life. Always important. Oh, was she biting down Go. on Ryan? You still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. I guess she passed on her infection to heal him up. Wow. Chapter 8 is done. Dylan and Caitlin. Have you been there before? Thicker than water the on the way to the scrapyard. No. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. And Abby's been what left behind at the lodge, too. Like, walk to the main road. This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. <laughs> Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? At least we'll be safe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what never mind. Was that? Let's just keep moving. All right, here we go. Damn it, I feel bad about Dylan losing his so, hand. I guess this is me now. I feel worse for him than he feels what? for himself. You're going to look great with a hook. We can call you Hooky McHookface. <laughs> Jeez, what a time to joke about the loss of a limb. <sighs> he's depressed. Come on, he's depressed. Nobody's ever going to treat me the same, are they? And some people won't, but fuck them. Would you date a guy with one hand? I don't think it's me you're concerned about, is it? <laughs> yeah. You'll be fine. I mean, if they won't date you because you have one hand, what does that say about them, right? <sighs> need some me time. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a little me time. To figure out the new Dylan before anything. On the New and improved right side. Dylan 2.0. Oh, well, shit. Now it's I your want to be Caitlyn 2.0. Hey, find me something that's sharp enough at the scrapyard, and we can make that happen. <laughs> oh, well, now's your chance, buddy. We're here. Well, maybe we'll find a hook in the scrapyard. Who knows? I hope it's not going to be detrimental to your survival, though. Oh shit. Okay. Sensor Relax. lights, please. It's sensor. Thank We're you. Okay. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Oh, look, Steve Unless Punk's back the in. werewolf can't hey, see us without the lights. This way. <sighs> Put me down. Wow. Easy, ma. Put me down, you wretch! What a 
fucking hell! Okay. Ah, Travis, bitch. help me, please. They didn't disarm Everybody us. Just relax. <laughs> what? Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Uh, it's a shotgun. I just need to shoot in a general direction. Okay, that's on gotcha. me. Seriously? Yo, what you did to my Kaylee. Seriously, you want to do this to me right now? I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I told you I'd do it. Dumbass. That's... Here's... <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't have done that, though. Everybody, stop! Constant. Maybe what the fuck is going on I shouldn't have mashed that. Uh, Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. I, I kind of got engrossed. I was like, well, she's she's doing a stupid thing, and she's going to win a stupid prize. Uh, it's talking about nurture, nurturing little monsters only to live long enough to watch them kill you. I feel like I should have not shot her in the face. I should have let the wolves kill her. Oh, wake up. So, wake up. this, Darling. this, wake uh, might have been a boo-boo on my part. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Again, though, her fault. <laughs> Yeah. And if no you guys didn't act all aggressive and everything. No more protecting anyone. Travis. Oh great. They're gonna kill us all. Okay, bye! Thanks for having me. Okay. Ooh. No, nice dodge. Ryan? Oh! Shit. Hang in there, right? Okay. That was interesting. He just like stabbed him and then ran off. And then Ryan just gets to go into the dumbwaiter. Should have at least slit his throat or something. Fuck. Right. <laughs> what a sequence of events. Shit. Oh, damn it. I should have thought about it. I, uh, that's me. I'm too uh, okay. impulsive. All right, that's not good. The pressure gets to me. I feel like I have no time to think. Uh, Same with the breakers. I was like, if I just took like a second longer. No, we're not going to pull the knife. Don't pull the knife. Yeah, I'm not doing that. We'll bleed out. Oh, Path chosen. Oh, oh, oh. If I just spent like an extra five seconds on the breaker puzzle, I could have worked it out. And now I'm scared for Jacob, too. God, this is all going downhill fast. Well, I suppose it's confirmed. Nick is here at the Hackett House, <laughs> according to the uh, map here. The ancestral home of the Hackett family for many generations. The property is off limits and trespassers will be reprimanded. And we got Hackett Scrap, another successful family enterprise. Hackett Scrap is situated just away from the summer camp. The proceeds from this lucrative scrapyard, along with your fees, allow us to keep the camp running to such a high standard on an annual basis. Yeah, I don't know about high standard. I'm probably going to leave a bad review. Above the law... Yeah, this Laura, Laura shot Constance in the head. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be, uh... Shaking hands after all is said and done. Jacob remained in the basement. Ryan chose not to remove the knife from his stab wound. The final twist of the knife. A gift could be a curse or a blessing, depending on how you look at it. And when you're losing blood, your vision blurring, it can be hard to tell the difference. A pound of flesh. Okay. Right. Let's find some clues. Get the hell out of here. Before our head gets blown off. A note. A locket. What is it? At least Ryan's finding the time to, you know, read through letters and whatnot rather than trying to escape. Kaylee's letter. Ooh. Oh, it's evidence. Seven out of ten. Okay, so we missed two back here, but maybe we can uh, come out of the game with eight. 
Kaylee Hackett's letter of confession addressed to her grandmother. Hmm. Wish I could read it. I guess we just tucked it away. What's in the wardrobe? Empty. Maybe a hiding place if need be. Doubt it though. They're probably more preoccupied with Laura. Death. Jeez, I almost missed that. I had to walk in a specific part of the room. Death. Death takes many forms. It could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it just means death. Good to know. Over here. Whose bedroom is this? Probably Kaylee's? Oh god. Oh. <laughs> yeah, probably shouldn't have looked at that. Hmm. It's quite a spacious room. Okay, I've got two doors I could go through. Locked? Uh oh. Here comes Bobby! Uh, block door or hide? Hide. Underbed in the cabinet. Uh. Oh, uh, in the cabinet. We opened it already. Under the bed's too close. At least if I can hear him coming towards the cabinet, I can fling the doors open and smack him in the face. Bobby? I'm sorry. I blasted Constance's face off. Oh, I should have waited a little bit longer. It's been a while since we've done this. Yeah, just walk through the room. Walk through the room. Oh, I can't hold on much longer. I was gonna say, like, did I open the cabinet just to get some air? Ryan, do you really want to do this while he's still in the room? I suppose he's he's risking it for the biscuit. I'm close. Stand by. Over. <laughs> Damn, that was a ballsy move, buddy. <sighs> Okay, well, he knows we're here, I think. But he's doing his horror movie march. Did he actually not see us? Okay. That's fine. You can't hide from me in my own house, fucker! I just did, dumbass! You're a fucker. Yeah, you! <laughs> Meanwhile, Laura... <laughs> Oh, you know what? I'm kind of glad I did it. <laughs> Even though I'm pretty sure it was wrong, I'm glad I did it. Uh, no, we're running. We're running. I thought her uh, scratch mark had healed. I guess not. Down. Okay. What was that all about? Would we have, like, skewered our face if we didn't do the quick time event? moving keep moving we'll take Bobby's advice he said we can't hide in their own in their own house okay oh we can walk around let's play the piano in remembrance of Constance Hackett play yes Re reactionist. I don't know, maybe there's something in the piano. And we'll, by playing it, we'll know. Dick. 
Okay, never mind. We just thought, you know what? Let's just play the piano for shits and giggles. Love it. I love it. Wow. Hunting there trophy wall. Around here? There are bears after all. Uh, the spoils of the Hackett's hunting prowess. You'd think they'd want to cover up the bullet wounds and signs of injury. Perhaps they serve as a reminder that these animals are definitely dead. I suppose they do. Hunting notice. A notice that indicates the local deer population has decreased in recent years. Hunting season has been suspended until the numbers start to rise again. No wonder the deer population has decreased. It looks like most of them have ended up on that wall in the Hackett house. I guess they, they really love their hunting. Maybe the deer is practice for the werewolves out and about. Hmm. Anything else around here? Any tower cards hidden? If I don't stand in a specific spot? These cages should hold Chris, Caleb, and Kaylee. When camp's over, they can keep hunting the white wolf. Hmm. Hang on, let's... Have another look at it. He's got to come back sooner or later. It'll be safe if we use blood. Last thing we need is more casualties. Okay. That's from T. Travis, I believe. An invoice for five grand. Electric cages. Okay. What have we here? A family tree. It's going to need... It's going to need some uh, adjustments. Especially after tonight. The Hackett family tree. Hackett family have been around for quite some time. Their roots running deep in the local area. Okay, we got Christopher, Travis. Uh, we saw Constance there too. Uh, Jedediah Hackett. Looks like they got married. We got Amelia. She's passed away. Robert. Oh, that's Bobby, of course. Caleb and Kaylee. Kaylee, unfortunately, has bit the dust. Caleb, of course, I don't think we've seen yet. Time will tell where he's gone. Wow. Stretches back centuries. And they've, what, lived here in this entire time? There's the Chris Kaylee Caleb photo over there. The same one that's on his desk. At camp. Alright, let's move on. What else have we got? Jeez, the frame rate. The stutter. The sun. Tell me. The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Okay. Three more. You know, I've had more than once the thought of just letting everyone die. <laughs> like, honestly, I feel like I've been making some optimal choices lately. This is certainly one of them. Uh oh, our eyes are golden. Also, I remember Caitlyn exists. Try me, motherfucker. Oh, God. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. Oh. But I sure to hell can make you suffer. Oh, dear. Here we go. Oh, no. Shit. I can't believe I failed such an easy quick time event. Not again. Alright, some drama, <laughs> because I can't do analog stick turns. Laura's not happy. Uh. Uh. Attack him. We might as well end the Hackett family tree. No way Travis is going to side with us anymore anyway. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait. Tarot. Let's look at the tarot. Let's look at the tarot. The Emperor, right? How the mighty may fall and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. Ugh. Does that mean he's supposed to fight amongst his own family members? I'm not supposed to end them? Oh, 
I don't know. I don't know. But if I don't do something... Sorry, that's not one. This is the one I want to look at. Oh, well, he's dead. <laughs> Done. Path updated. Which one? Tell me. Above the law. Yeah, no, no way. <laughs> I mean, we already shot Constance in the head. We killed Jedediah. I'm sorry, Travis. We're too far gone. Too far gone. Okay. Oh. Whoa, what? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Jacob, hold your breath, please. No, don't walk closer to it. Oh, no, 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 wait. Great, 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 great. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I failed to break a puzzle. I'm sorry. Oh god. <laughs> oh shit. Good one, Laura. Hey! Travis. Travis is devastated. So he can see Jedediah's dead body, but he can't see us, huh? Oh, never mind, he can. <laughs> Wait! What? What? Wait for what? I'm sorry. Oh, it's getting from bad to worse. Can we salvage the situation? <laughs> Can we? I don't know. Uh, I'm flying by the seat of my pants here. I'm making irrational choices for the sake of it now. Do we just end all of the hackets? Bobby's next. He did stab Ryan. I like how he just walks after us. You know. Because that's what horror villains do. Oh. Perfectly shaped. Okay. We're not going to fail any more QTEs. Especially when his fists come through the wall. Oh no. He's still taking his time. Okay, let's wait, let's wait until the last second. There we go. We need to maximize oxygen. I don't know why he's listing against the wall here when he could have just poked his head in the gap. Uh. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. I'm breathtaking. Thank you, Keanu Reeves. I didn't realize you were in the game. Okay. The knife's still stuck in me. But at least it's in my inventory. Oh, this is where it happens. Where he gets bitten by Laura, if necessary. Yo, oh, come on, man. You gotta help me. You gotta help me. After yeah, you stab me. I promise. I won't tell anyone anything. Of course, no, this is my man. friend. Family first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. Get in trouble? Stab? Uh, no, let's not stab. Please! You stole my knife! I didn't yeah! steal it. Ah, uh, you gave it. Oh. Oh! Laura! Oh no, you've been bit! Pick on someone <laughs> your own size. Travis! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, easy. Easy. Sorry, but it's for your own good. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Just got stabbed. Wasn't bitten. <laughs> oh, Ryan. Oh, how bad is it? Pretty bad. I'm so 
so sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? Yeah. I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? Well, Constance, yourself, and uh, Jedediah in between. <laughs> Mocking. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, I didn't want to say it, but... You shouldn't have come with me. You think? <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. We know what we gotta do. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Oh, yeah. Depends. She's thinking about it. Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. I, I have to wonder though, how does the cure work? Ryan. Because if, if we if kill you Chris, let me bite that'll you. heal, that'll what? cure Max. If you will let that me cure bite Laura, you, which will cure, cure Ryan infected, too? Which means. Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means. Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> uh... Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. Yeah. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's too. It's Chris, the big final boss. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Take your pick. Pretty much, yeah. She won't be able to ever kill it's Chris your call Hackett. For now. Because she'll be a werewolf each time the full moon comes out. And that's the only time so you can cure it, right? Now. What happens if you kill a wolf in their human form outside of the full moon? Do you just never get cured? Like, that's it? You, you've lost your chance and you're permanently a werewolf? I suppose I can see that happening. But yeah, we have to accept here. Do it. Path chosen. Okay. Uh, where, where do you want it? Your finger? <sighs> your arm? I mean, we saw it was the arm. I could do your neck. Nice and tender for you. Ugh. Thanks. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> We've really bungled it now. Oh, God. Just sink your teeth in, Laura. Pull away? No, we're not pulling away. I'm no punk, bitch! <laughs> ah. Okay, okay, okay! <sighs> All right. Jeez, you're not a vampire, man. He should start to feel better soon, I guess. Do you have a napkin? Bobby? Phlebotomy. We gotta go. What? Let's go, let's go. You got it. Come on, Laura, where's that super strength of yours? You should be a cinch. Just piggyback him. Go, 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 go. What are we gonna do? I kinda don't feel like killing Travis, but I feel like I must now. Especially after losing Jacob. Oh, God. He's the whole reason we stuck, we're stuck here. Him and Emma. And they're both dead. <laughs> of all people. These guys never throw anything out, huh? Porters. So do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Hey, rotor arm. Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped for parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. 
Come on, guys. Please. Live to see another day. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't realize that was supposed to be. Anything that's what I was you? supposed to be doing. Not yet. Keep looking. Okay. We can't exactly put our hands on our hips. We're missing one. Maybe in the garage? Okay, anything back here? What happens if I try to leave? No, we cannot. Good to know. Just looking for tarot's, among other things. You never know. Left or right? Let's try left. Um, damn. Freaking Nick. Motion sensor. That actually kind of gave me a little bit of a fright. Nothing on the left side. Nothing on the right. So we saw with Laura, the, the intense light seemed to affect her. If we get ambushed here, which is a possibility, a very strong one. Especially because we haven't seen Caleb yet, or Chris. Uh, we might need to make use of these... Sensor lights. I'm wondering, there's gonna be like a time where we can activate them and it'll either reveal us or it'll save us. I mean, surely they'll be able to smell us, so sight shouldn't be a problem. What do we have here? Lower the car? Oh, open the gate. Is that enough noise for you, Caitlin? <sighs> Are we gonna end up in a documentary? No. Shut up, Clint. Let's go. <laughs> no. It'll be all covered up. I didn't get to check upstairs. Okay, good. Thank you for giving back control. Hang on, Caitlin. Let's have a look around up here. Oh, I'm nervous. Full moon. Yep. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Mm-hmm. They had to. Otherwise they'd turn into wolves while camp was running. Which I think they did. Because it ran for a month. Over a month. SUV, body damage. Keep this off the books. Who's T? Mm. Travis. That must have been uh, Laura and Looks Max's car. Looks like these guys car. were cooking the books a little. <laughs> Dodgy. You said it. So that clue, the scrawled request to keep something off the books is a little dodgy to say the least. There must be something here they don't want anyone to know about. Keep this off the books and out the way. And over on paths, loves, loves labors lost. All the cage doors opened when Laura broke the fuse box. The werewolf killed Jacob in the basement. <sighs> Pound of flesh. At least we saved Ryan. Ryan had to be careful not to exacerbate his injury as he fled from Bobby. Bobby took his knife back, worsening Ryan's bleeding. Ryan chose to accept Laura's offer to bite him. I mean, either he takes his knife back or I stab him and Ryan's bleeding worsens. <laughs> so, I mean... We didn't have a lot of options there. You know, I started off not really liking Dylan, but he's really grown on me, honestly. He's just a charismatic guy. Him and Caitlin have to survive this night. Laura too. Everyone else, I suppose Abby as well. And Ryan. And Max. <laughs> okay, everyone else needs to survive, okay? Oh, maybe Nick. <laughs> Damn, so many places to go. I could either go that way or I can go through this container here. Ugh. These damn sensor lights. Why do they have to be so loud? Surely all roads lead to Rome. Oh, no. What was that? Ah! Sorry, that was scary. <laughs> okay. That's so annoying. We are being hunted 
by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, no, never mind. We're not progressing. We're not progressing. Good. Oh, which way do I want to go? I don't want to miss something. <laughs> I'm playing the meta game here. I hear a crow. I hear a crow. Where's the tarot? It might be up those stairs. Okay, that looks like the SUV that belonged to Max and Laura, I guess, possibly. It seems intact, which means we're probably going to grab that. The tarot card, I believe, is further up because of the crow. So that means we can go back this way. Hopefully. That's my hunch. <laughs> that that was the right way. We need to go the wrong way here. To make sure we don't miss any clues. Or even evidence. What if the final piece of evidence is just like one survivor? Like, <laughs> just someone to tell the tale. There you are. I knew it had to be here. Judgment. Judgment day is upon us. That's what you'd expect from this card, isn't it? Though perhaps in this case it's simpler than that. Perhaps one's own judgment, a snap decision to make, can save them from their own personal day of reckoning. Every step matters, every decision tipping the balance one way or the other. Take your time, think, and maybe survive. Oh god. If only you told me that sooner. To take my time to think so I could survive. <laughs> then maybe Jacob would still be here. Discarded signage. It's uh, for the Harem Scarum, Sideshow Spectacular. The torn and broken remains of old Sideshow attractions. The way they're intertwined with the rest of the scrap shows they've been sitting here for a long time. Hmm. What's this? Yep. Harem Scarum. Seen this, Caitlin? There's our friend. Caitlin doesn't seem too interested. God, this place is a death trap. Oh boy, I can see losing one of these guys here. I really can. <sighs> I need to stay on my toes. Okay. I think I've successfully navigated around the trigger to move the scene forward. Let's head on up to the crane. I think we're going to need to lower that car. Look. Here we are. Yay! <laughs> Meanwhile... Uh-oh. Oh. So, you ever operated a crane before? I thought someone was spying I on us. I actually used to be... Pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. That's sketchy. Nope, nope, uh-uh. Uh oh, I hear that. <laughs> look, well, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? The kids used to call me the grabber. <laughs> Isn't quite the brag you want to say. Uh, watch my back. Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um... Just, uh, watch my back, yeah? yeah? Yeah. I can't exactly use the gun with one hand, I'm afraid. Let's see if the grabber can... grab with only one hand. Oh, boy. Uh... All right. I feel like I'm in a kill box. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Jeez. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Am I gonna have to use my teeth for the other one? All right, not too complicated. It's gonna make a lot of noise though, right? And welcome back, grabber. What the hell is going on? Just, my bad. What do you think? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here goes nothing. There we go. Don't flatten Caitlyn. But if there's a werewolf there, feel free to drop it. 
What if he's in the car? You what did if, it! What if there's a werewolf in the car? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think I found my calling. Chariot. About I'm just time. thinking about Chariot. <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. Typically, the tarot cards are Score. always for the next chapter. I've never seen one chapters in advance. Uh oh, there we are. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Lift car. Oh no, I shouldn't have lifted it. I didn't realize she was going in. I'm sorry! Fucking car! What the fuck are you doing? I was trying to lift it out of the way! So you couldn't get in! Oh no, oh no, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up! Dylan, get the damn werewolf off the damn car! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Uh oh. God damn it! I'm trying, I'm trying! Sound the horn! Get out of there! Please! Oh! Oh god! Oh Jesus! Oh god! Okay! Oh god! Okay! Oh god! Okay! I thought we had an ejector seat here! Oh please work! Come on! Uh, yippee ki -yay, motherfucker! Don't miss. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Caitlin. Oh no, oh no. I'm helping, helping. I'm trying, I'm trying. Stay calm. Ah. Don't panic! Don't panic! Everything's under control! The grabber is on the scene! Jesus Christ, that was tense. No, get out of there, now! Don't chill! Do not chill! Guys? This isn't a time to relax and do a leisurely stroll down the stairs. Grab the rotor arm and get the hell out of there. Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Oh. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about <laughs> how brave I am. Oh, God. Don't push it. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <sighs> yeah. So. So much for our brilliant escape plan. Let's just wait till sunrise, okay. huh? Back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. All that for nothing. You don't want to check the the hood? Oh god, hang on. Where's the path update? Team building. Work together to escape the scrapyard. Okay, good. It wasn't to like break the car or anything. Phew. <sighs> Just checking the clues. Scrapyard note. The note is referring to Max's car. Travis wanted to keep it off the books in case anyone came looking for them. Okay. Maybe that was Caleb in there. In any case, he's out. He's down and out. 